Hey guys, Matt here. Doing a little experimentation with uh, a technique called deep pipe irrigation. And basically what it is, is you take a length of pipe, stick it in the ground vertically next to your ceiling, and uh, there's holes in the side of the pipe facing the ceiling. And you fill the pipe up with water. And even though um, this is just a three inch pipe here, can hold maybe a gallon of water a little bit more than that uh, it puts the water right where the roots are and the theory behind it is that the shallow roots will seek out the water so if the water is put down at the root level and below the roots will look for the water and go deeper and that's what you want to get a seedling established so I'm going to do a little experimentation here. They make uh, water spikes. I think they're called deep drip. Uh, one brand that uses uh, about a one and a half inch pipe, I think. Uh, the article I found on the internet recommends anywhere from a one inch to a three inch. So what I did, I went to Home Depot and I bought some three inch PVC. I cut them at 24 inches so I get five out of a 10 foot stick. Um, with the price and everything, it comes out to about two dollars, and a just a little bit more uh, for the for the screen and everything. I'm gonna show you how I did the top in just a minute. So I figure about two dollars and twenty five cents, two dollars and fifty cents for one of these to make it, um, instead of paying eight to nine dollars for one of the deep drip uh, spikes, and they're not as big around, they don't hold as much water. So I think this way uh, will be good to go. The, the one difference, my version, um, has an open end. The deep drip stakes or spikes, however what do you want to call them, does not. It's closed on the end. So I don't know how that's going to work, but uh, that's like I said, this is all experiment. So what I did was, to kind of keep them in line, I just followed this writing here. goes up the side of the pipe, and I drilled a hole about every two, three inches or so. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes in this pipe. Um, just kind of eyeball it. That's all I did. And I think I used a 732 inch drill bit. Uh, you can use a quarter inch drill bit if you want the holes a little bit bigger. I wouldn't go anything uh, bigger than a quarter inch though. Now I'm gonna show you how I made the top here. Uh, the top is just some plastic um, screen uh, material that I got at Home Depot fiberglass screening the things kind of ripped there uh, you can get it for Home Depot I think I paid six bucks for that big roll and that'll do lots and lots of tubes and then I just used duct tape I cut out a little square of it enough to to go all the way around and then I used duct tape to secure it. and what the screen does obviously when it's set down in the ground like this um, it'll stick up a couple of inches above the ground and that screen right there is to keep animals and debris and anything else leaves that might get down in the pipe keep it from filling up with dirt and anything else that might get in there so that's my solution for that you could go buy uh, a PVC a three inch pipe, uh, cap uh, that goes on this but those things are like seven or eight bucks a piece you know and if you're going to put out several trees like i do uh, several hundred trees you know that can get very expensive so for a little piece of duct tape and a maybe a nickel's worth of screening material there i think i i think that'd be okay as long as the duct tape holds up and th like i said this part right here will be sticking up above the ground a few inches so you know, if you, if you notice your um, screening coming off, you can always put another one down and put some duct tape around it. Secure it with a wire tie, cable tie, you know, a plastic cable tie, anything. So there you have it. I'm going to put these in the ground. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go try to, uh, to uh, plant a couple of trees. And I'm going to try to put these in the ground. I don't have my post hole diggers with me. All I have is a shovel, so... I may have to wait until I get the post hole diggers in order to finish the job, but 
anyway just wanted to show you guys what I've come up with and hopefully this will help with getting these trees established in areas where you go for several weeks without rain down here in Texas uh, we had a real rainy uh, spring season and winter matter of fact it was record rainfall and then about mid-july it stopped and it's first of november and we're just now starting to get regular rain again so we went for probably three months with little to no rain and i lost half of my trees or more because i wasn't able to go water them and the ones that i did water uh kind of suffered because i was top watering and i think this way the water will get down to the roots where it's needed before it evaporates. Take care, guys. Appreciate it. And uh, if you like this video, please uh, please press the like button on in uh, in YouTube or go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to do lots of videos, document things, stuff that I've learned from growing these trees, all different kinds of things. So if you like this video, please let me know by pressing the like button or like I said, uh, you can subscribe and you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye.